character. <laughs> it's gonna have to be said, man. You know, with all this uh, promoting and everything, we're gonna lose a lot of money unless we get some sponsors. But where are we gonna find those? I'll tell you where we're gonna find those. In the only place where there's nothing but sponsors. The Logo Board Game! Oh no! Guys, thank you so much for joining us for Smack Talk Showdown. We are once again back with roommates and board, and we are back with our good friend and special guest, Mr. Sammy, Mr. Bowman, Mr. Sammy4549. How's it going, buddy? Uh, I'm, I'm still here. He's yeah, still that's here. a miracle right there. Exactly. So today here on St. Patrick's Day weekend, we are doing some streamlined cards for the local board game. I have specifically picked out mostly potluck. Pot, pot of gold, haha, -ha, references. Uh -huh. Irish. The luck of the Irish. The logo board game is super simple and fun to play. You should go out and buy it. It's at Walmart, it's at Target, it's everywhere. Uh, if you know products, chances are you'll love this game. There's all kinds of products in here in this new edition, like Kingsford charcoal and Classico tomato sauce, all the goodies. But today we're doing completely and utterly random with potluck. First, Person will be the winner from our last game. It'll be Jared for purple. The highly acclaimed US TV show House of Cards is produced by what video streaming company? Video streaming. Uh, Hulu. <laughs> Sammy. Net no, wait, no. Netflix. Netflix is correct. Sorry, Jared. Yeah, nah, I just thought of it. Man, that's a bad start for you. <laughs> Just read the next card. Next question. What outdoor wear company specializes in mountaineering, hiking, and its pro line of boots? Pro is capitalized. Pro bash shop. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy. I have no clue. I'm just going to say Timbaland. Correct. What, what really? Good guess. Damn. Oh my god. Why don't I just give him the next two spaces? I know, okay, Sammy, uh... <laughs> no, no, no. Alright, Jared, by what name do we know the South Beach Beverage Company, producer of teas, fruit blends, and waters? Oh, uh, uh, Sobe. Sobe is correct. Alright, circle I would not have gotten that. And your final question for Red, what car logo is a shield bearing an image of a prancing horse in the world oh. Stuttgart? Sammy, I'm hey, gonna, get I'm ready for say, your hand on the buzzer. I'm gonna say... Benz. Incorrect, I'm sorry. Sammy, would you like to take a crack? The only thing I can think of a shield is Ferrari. And now, uh, incorrect, it is uh, Porsche. Oh, oh Porsche! Porsche. But that's yeah. Not, is it German made? I don't know. Nah, I'm just gonna go with my gut feeling. Yeah, no, right, from that on. Yes, it is. <laughs> my gut always <laughs> steers me wrong. Your gut thought of Hulu. A TV ad for what car company had champagne glasses stacked on the hood of an LS400? What the? I'm gonna say Lexus. Correct! Oh, oh damn! What chocolatier shares its name with a lady who let her hair down? Godiva. Yep. Oh man, let's go. She would love for you to sprint to the store and buy her brand of granulated dried spice and herbs. Mrs. Dash. Yep. Damn! <laughs> The first images on this TV channel were of the Apollo 11 moon landing, but with what logo on the flag? MTV. Yep. Damn. Damn, four in a row, man. Look at You're that. For purple. What cereal does Kellogg's want you to taste again for the first time? What? <sighs> Bird vomit cereal? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, That's so uh, good. I ought to try the second uh, time. <laughs> I don't know, man. Frost Flakes? Incorrect. Mm, incorrect. incorrect. The one You're that wrong. The game. Hmm. That's, uh, I've never heard that. Have you? I'm thinking. This is stomping us right off the bat. I'll go with Raisin Bran. Kellogg's mm. Corn Flakes. Ah, uh, Corn Flakes? Just no Corn Flakes. I never eat that crap. All right, not much use to the swear jar today, but I need to fill it up. We're nearing the end of the game. We're nearing the end of the day. I need to start cursing. F there we go. Okay, I feel better. First response is a product that's designed to test what condition earlier. Mmm. Penis sports. <laughs> Pregnancy test. Uh... 
colds. Incorrect. Mm. Is that your fi- is that your final answer? Well, you said incorrect. Incorrect. So. so yeah, that's your final answer, Mr. Sammy. What is your answer? I think he said it earlier. Pregnancy. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm surprised you didn't accept it by then and then when he said it. I, and here I was saying I, I should have gone. I, I was getting just go with my gut feeling. I, I should you know not have I'm taken saying. it as a guess though. Yeah, because he was joking. I'm sorry, man. It's it's a black stallion moment. What horse does Alec Ramsey tame when he's shipwrecked on a des desert island in a popular novel? Oh come on, black stallion. Uh, Black Beauty. He uh, just told you the answer, the Black Stallion. What? God. It doesn't feel so good when it happens to other people, does it? No, it doesn't. Good job, Sammy. On the green, one You're horse You're welcome. Space. One horse space, I'll take it. Enjoy your pregnancy. Uh, yellow. Name the tire company whose slogan is, Where the rubber meets the road. Now that sounds like a pregnancy test. <laughs> it does! Yeah, yeah, is your answer Where condom? the rubber meets the rubber. Yeah, so it's not a condom company. <laughs> well, I hope not. Are you tired of the same old rubber? You want to offer better protection yeah. against those harsh roads we call <laughs> peen- uh, 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 pussies? Peen- <laughs> Making the penises cast. Thank you, Cards Against Humanity. Uh, I'll just say Michelin. Incorrect. I'm so sorry. Mr. Sammy. Worse, that was exactly my guess as well. <laughs> Stop stealing his answers. I'm gonna say Pirelli. Incorrect. The answer is Firestone. Ah, Firestone! Alright, so only Sammy got one, I think, on that one. It was a tough card. It was. We don't know anything about brands. Yeah, brands suck. In a TV ad, when Peyton Manning talks about making plays, who talks about making pizza? Papa John's. Yep. He gets that? What designer observed between love and madness lies obsession? I don't know. I'm gonna say Calvin Klein? Yes! What? Really? Oh my god! So look at this! So look at the Irish is dancing on his head right here. Damn! Go Sammy! What youth organization founded by Juliet Gordon Lowe uses the slogan, Do a Good Turn Daily? I'm thinking of some of the inappropriate comments of that. Well, think of the less inappropriate one. No, don't. I'm gonna say the Girl Scouts. Yep. Really? What? Sam, <laughs> what the hell? I right. thought it was doing your best. <laughs> yeah, right. That's Boy Scouts. That's Boy Scouts. <laughs> oh, okay. Or no, the Cub Scouts. Yeah, Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts. Boy Scouts is be prepared. Girl Scouts is be prepared at every turn. Buy our cookies. Name the natural cosmetic company that urges you to pucker up and plant a wet one on someone's cheek. Uh, um, uh, oh shit, I should know I'm this. Gonna, I'm gonna be right over here. <laughs> yeah, right, you just hang out over there. Oh god, pucker up and plant a wet one. Uh, I'll just say Revlon. Incorrect. Yeah. I was thinking Revlon. I'll say Cosmopolitan. No, I've never heard of this one either. It's called Kiss My Face. <laughs> what? That goes right. That gets right to the point. Yeah, it gets right. Yeah, yeah. There's no beating around the bush with that one. Uh, for Red Sean. Uh oh. With 22 different flavor, this powdered kids drink is often seen in a water pitcher with a happy face. <laughs> yes! Kool Aid Man, oh yeah! Alright, Jared's gonna get Lucky Charms. Oh, Lucky Charms. No, oh. they're always after Jared's Lucky Charms. What's the first answer be? What's the name of this brand? Jared, name the brand. <laughs> Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, take your freebie. There's the bingo free space right there. What is the leprechaun mascot's name? Lucky. Yeah, no kidding. At least it's only a couple spaces, but this is, this, yeah, for two more spaces, Jared. By volume, what percentage of a box of Lucky Charms are marshmallow charms? Ooh. Is it 10, 25, or 50%? That's a tough one. 25. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I was at 10. Ten, I probably would have said 10, because there's never enough of those delicious bastards. No, there isn't. I first thought it was 50, but it's like, no, well, there's I, not still, I still see more grain, yeah. more of the grain cereal than I do of the marshmallow. If the charms are 25% of a Lucky Charms box, what toasted grain component is the other 75%? <laughs> toasted grain component? So what is that called, those, those, those bits? Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Correct! 
Sammy gets it. Move to red. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go with corn. Uh, Sam, incorrect. Sammy. Yeah. It's oats, isn't it? Oats. Correct. Oats. Damn. Yeah. I get my whole one space. Cyber <laughs> fist bump. Cyber fist bump. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Name the stain removing product advertised on TV by a loud bearded Billy Mays. Oh! Oxyclean. Uh, one no. whole space. No, it's the big city slider. What mid-sized luxury model does Nissan market as the four doors sports car? Okay, so it's the model, not the make. It's okay. not an Altima. Huh. It's not the Altima. Damn it, that's the only one I know because that's the one Jared used to have. No, it was the Sentra. Okay, Sentra. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the answer like that. Okay, it wasn't that either, though. What was it? Maxima. Maxima. Oh. What insurance company has high overhead with its Snoopy blimps at sports event? Oh. Sporting. Oh, uh, Nationwide. No. Oh. No? No, it's, um, MetLife. MetLife. Uh, oh. God damn it. Go ahead, let it out, dude. You have a thousand dollars. There we go. Name the German brand of sandals that includes the Arizona, the Boston Clog, and designs by Heidi Klum. Ooh. I'm no clue. I'm just going to say Old Navy. No. I have one guess. Birkenstock? Yep. Yeah! Oh. Let it out, Sammy. You have money. No, I, I'm, I already let it out. <laughs> you just don't want him to win, dude. No, he has $900 and we're nearing the end. I just don't want him to waste his money. <laughs> There's no shame in saving! Oh, I went nowhere. And I'm way back there. And Jared's way back there. He's not relevant right now. I'm not irrelevant. You're not relevant. Which makes you, you know, E-relevant. What's the uh, E stand for? It's the first, second letter in death and the third one in die. <laughs> Movie about inner city teacher. Yeah. It's called, um, what the heck is it called? Stand and Deliver. There it is. That's it? 1988, Stand and Deliver. Oh, Edward James Olmos. Edward James Olmos, that's what Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why, babe. Can he kind of looks like Pacino, I, I give you that. Almost, you almost got it. Almost. Almost. There you go, read to Sammy. Punch. Oh. I'm ready. Name the brand of fruit nectars that takes its name from a Massachusetts island. Nantucket. Uh, I'm so, I need the full name. Full name? Nantucket Island? Mm. God damn it! <laughs> Let it out, Sammy. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Nantucket... You got like half of You got like half of the right. I gave you half! <laughs> Nantucket <laughs> Island Fruits? <laughs> I don't know. Nantucket Nectars. Oh, wait! Come on! Uh, as an online source of information on film, TV, actors, and directors, what does IMDB stand for? Yeah, Internet Movie Database. Wrong! No, it's correct. You get out of here with your jingoism. And for red, okay, you really should get this, Jared. You know Stop this. Stop instilling no, so much pressure. You really know this. It's no, putting so much pressure. For real, though. What, what 90s game fad required graphic cover discs and a slammer to play? Oh, what? See, this is why you said, oh, you should get this. But you should! Alright, repeat the question one more time. What 90s game fad required graphic cover discs and a slammer to play? What the f is a slammer? There's the money. <laughs> My goal is to get Jared to curse at least once each show. Congratulations. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> it's from the 90s. It was Q. K E W L. Oh, my head hurts. Damn, uh, if Sammy gets this, he jumps like 10 spaces. And if you get it, you only get one space. That's cruel. <laughs> uh, this is the part of the video where future Sean, editor, just goes fast forward. Fast forward. Okay, fast forward. <laughs> I already did, I already did. We're gonna come out of the fast forward with you saying... Okay, fast forward. I pass. I All right, I sorry, can't. man. I'm... Just hoping this is this is the name of it. Pog. Correct. Pogs. Mm, yeah. It's just these wood things with a bunch of characters on them and this heavy glass thing that you, you throw on top of them. Yeah, it's like you stack these little tokens. They're almost like little tokens, and you slam on them. Yeah. You slam on them. I'm literally right behind you, though. Yeah. And, so. Uh, and where's Jared? Jared's kind way of way out there. there. Yeah. It's really because I've been giving fashion questions. Yeah. Nothing like nothing about cereal. Nothing about <laughs> hacky sacks. You haven't got any fun questions. Hey, you got pogs. To get into the center, what do you got? What brand of pain relieving heat 
Therapy Patch is endorsed by Shaquille O'Neal. Icy hot. Correct. Yeah, I'm in the center now, so then it ends. Yeah, yeah now it ends. Okay, so you don't have to read red, because now I'm in the center with you. Oh, I'm no. in the middle with me. What German car company made the reassuring claim relieves gas pains? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what is it? Volkswagen. Volkswagen is correct. Green. Yeah. Uh, what colorful kiosk dispense DVDs, Blu-rays, and video games in over 34,000 locations in the U.S.? Redbox. Correct. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what guys. What was that, yellow? That's yellow. And to get into the center, unbelievable. So here we go. If Jared gets this, he goes to the center. If Sammy gets this, he wins. NBA arch rivals Larry Bird and Magic Johnson came together to advertise what brand of athletic shoes... So many. Center gets the square. <sighs> that pressure really is on here. It really is. I mean, yeah, I'm on a hot streak. I'm going to say Reebok. Sammy. Nike. Both incorrect. <sighs> the answer is Converse. Converse. Uh, oh, Converse. Ah, uh, okay. If you, if you guys had seen the Michael Jordan documentary, The Last Dance, he talks about I did about see that. it, but yeah, I only yeah. saw the first episode. Okay, it was like episode four or five, I think. All right, Sammy. Sammy. Get two consecutive answers. Or right the or the red. Here we okay. Go. What elastic, bouncing, rubber-like toy was used by Apollo astronauts to secure their tools in zero gravity? Flubber? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, kind of on the right track, though. Uh, I got it wrong. Oh, um, uh, Silly Putty. Correct. Oh, one more and I win. What company produces the Posturepedic Mattress? Ortho? Nope. It's Tempur- it? Tempurpedic. Nope. Oh, it's not! It's Sealy. Oh, Sealy! Sealy! <laughs> he was so confident, too. Alright. Now for the real deal. Potentially oh. for the win. What textbook publishing company's official mascot is Clifford the Big Red Dog? Scholastic. Correct. Wow. Yes. Sammy comes with the victory. Yes. Cheers to you, man. Congrats. That was hard. That was hard earned. Yes! That was very hard. That might have been the hardest earned victory on the show, honestly. That was beautiful. Good job, yes. Sammy. Sammy, you have 30 seconds face- how about we do like a uh, part of the interruption. 30 seconds FaceTime, Sammy, to say anything you want to say. Go right ahead. I want to thank my agent for allowing me to have this victory. <laughs> but seriousness, I want to thank you two for having me on. This has- this has been a pleasure to be able to do this. And I hope that you two will continue this for a little while longer. The pleasure's yeah. all ours, man. We're definitely yeah. doing at least one season of this, so we really yeah. appreciate you being our March guest here on Roommates and Board. Sammy Bowman, everybody. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on Roommates and Board today. We hope you had a good, fun time exploring our terrible, terrible wrestling names like the Downtown Traveler. I don't know what you're talking about. And I had some pretty awesome wrestling names. Yeah, like whatever. the Regal Steel, the Stunning Pirate. Yeah, he's clearly stunning, isn't he? But we hope you guys had a good time watching us do Smack Talk Showdown and the Logo Board Game. We hope you'll join us for the next episode and a new special guest. But in the meantime, everybody, please give it up one more time to Sam Bowman. Oh. All right, oh. now, now leave. Silly sound. Anyway. Stop, you're veering right. I'm laughing.